In this video episode, I'm going to discuss on how to install CCTV system and CCTV mobile setup for our migrated electrical installation and maintenance NC2. CCTV stands for Closed Circuit Television, a TV system in which signals are not publicly distributed but are monitored, primarily for surveillance and security purposes. Let us identify the auxiliary devices to be used for CCTV system. This is a digital video recorder, it provides recording for possibly for years, with a variety of quality and performance options and extra features such as motion detection and email alerts. It comes with a 12 volt DC adapter as its power supply. Then we have the CCTV cameras, an indoor type camera and outdoor type camera. These cameras can produce images or recordings for surveillance or other private purposes. Cameras can be either video cameras, or digital stills cameras. Next, CCTV pre-made cable BNC, bayonet Nielkenselman, plus DC power connector. This will serve as signal pathways from cameras to the digital video recorder. This part to be connected at CCTV camera. And this part to be connected from the recorder and camera power supply. CCTV cameras comes with a separate 12 volt DC output, 4 to 5 amperes power supply. We will use a power supply splitter cable to energize the four cameras. Next, television. This will serve as monitoring screen for the CCTV system. Computer monitors can also be used. A VGA or HDMI cable is needed to project the output display. And make use of a computer mouse for easy access through the CCTV auxiliary system. And last, a LAN cable. It is used for networking purposes and CCTV mobile setup. Let's go back to digital video recorder and identify the slots or terminals to be used and connect the auxiliary devices. This is the 12 volt DC input terminal, the device main switch, slot for LAN cable with secured internet connection, RCA audio output, VGA out, HDMI out, BNC video out, and BNC CCTV cameras video input slots. Let's now connect the auxiliary devices to our digital video recorder. First, the recorder's power supply. Second, the CCTV camera, kindly check the appropriate BNC connector, the DC supply mail connector must be installed on the camera's side. On the other side of the BNC cable, it must be connected to the recorder and camera's designated power supply. But before doing so, make use of the power supply splitter cable. And that's it. Next, you may use a VGA or HDMI cable for video monitoring output. And our LAN cable, it will be used for our CCTV's mobile setup. Next, install the three remaining CCTV cameras. Same installing procedure with the first one. And last, connect the computer mouse for easy access of the CCTV system. Let's start the CCTV operation. Plug in all the required equipment such as monitor, recorder power adapter and CCTV cameras power adapter. And switch on the recorder. The indicator lights will light up that shows that the recorder is on and there's a network signal passing through our device. And access the CCTV through the monitor. Note, the CCTV system currently records the data signal as the digital video recorder starts. You may stop the recording through the menu section. To access the menu section, right click your mouse, select menu, and enter the system's username and password. In setting up your account, Please refer to Hikvision manual for the pre-activation procedures. Playback operation is possible, check the checkbox of camera in the channel list and then double click to select a date on the calendar. Make sure that the recorder's date and time is updated to get an accurate monitoring data. And exit. Here are some of the CCTV auxiliary system. Live view, motion detection, face detection, vehicle detection, line crossing detection, fast moving detection etc. For more detailed explanation, you may visit Hikvision website for their manual. For CCTV mobile setup. First step. Network settings must be properly configured before you operate DVR over network. Go to menu, click configuration, network, and general. NIC type select 10M slash 100M self adaptive. Check enable DHCP and DNS DHCP. Then click apply. Select Platform Access, Check Enable, Check Service Terms and Privacy Statement, then OK. Select Access Type, hit Connect, Enable Stream Encryption, and don't forget to create a verification code. And click Apply. Exit Slash Back to Menu. 
Second step. Go to www.hike-connect.com in your web browser. You may download the app though iOS or Android devices. Click register to create an account. If you have already registered, you may log in immediately. Once an account is created, open the mobile application. And last step. For first time logging in, you need to add your CCTV device, but how? In your CCTV monitor, go back to menu, click configuration, network, and platform access. There is a QR code that needs to be scanned. And in your mobile device, click add device, and scan the QR code provided. The device is detected and click add button. Click next, you may also change the device name and click save. In my device, the four installed cameras will appear on your mobile screen. And click the device name to proceed in live view mode. Navigate through selection buttons to configure the system. In case of shutting down the CCTV, go to menu and select shutdown. Click yes and wait the prompt message to switch off the digital video recorder. So, that's all on how to set up our closed circuit television system. If you find this video interesting and useful to others, you may consider subscribing, like and share and hit the notification bell for more updates to come. And follow us at Facebook, Facebook page, Warden's Corner. See you on next video tutorials. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you and goodbye.